This nev next video I have here is Fieldcraft. This was a request from someone over on BitChute, and that is, what is Stand 2? Stand 2 is conducted when you are guarding your uh, unit. It is typically conducted during the historical times of when a unit is typically hit, which is usually before sunrise or soon after sundown. I have not heard of Stand 2 being conducted during the middle of the night, which was the most common time that a base could be attacked by an insurgency. That was usually taken care of by adjusting the percentage of personnel that are on guard duty at that time. So Stand 2 officially starts 30 to 60 minutes before sunup or sundown and lasts to anywhere from 30 to 60 minutes after. How we typically did it when I was in, we would get woken up about 30 minutes before stand to so that everyone could go uh, take a leak. You did not perform your personal hygiene till after stand to. You did not eat till after stand to. So you got up, you got your stuff ready. During stand two, you're on 100% guard. Everyone is in their positions. All fighting positions, all bunkers are occupied. Everyone occupies their place on the perimeter for stand two by filtering out of their sleeping areas in small groups. If people are sleeping in their fighting positions, they're already there. You do not rush out in large groups. You want small groups, so no more than a fire team going out at a time from each sleep area, each tent. Now, during stand two, while everyone is in there, the sun's coming up and that. If you have any vehicles, especially during the winter time, you had to start them to keep them warm, to recharge the batteries because of running radios in them overnight. Middle of winter, you're starting the vehicle to keep the engine blocks from freezing. We would perform what is called short count. How short count is conducted. The call would go over the radio saying uh, short count in 10 mics. Short count in 10 minutes. So the vehicle had to be ready to get started within 10 minutes. You had to have your TC on the vehicle. He had to be on the weapon system. If there was a gunner, the gunner had to be on it. Also in his position, the driver had to be inside the driver's position. Once you got to uh, the time for short count, they called it out over radio. They said short count in X number of seconds. And then they would do the countdown from 10 down. As soon as you got to one, you know, Short count in 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And then right after that one is when you hit the starter and start your vehicle. All vehicles get started at the same time. So that way the enemy could not get a count of how many vehicles were inside that perimeter. Because if you're starting up individually, it's easier to figure out how many vehicles are there hidden under camouflage or hidden in their, fighting, their vehicle fighting positions. So, stand two is pretty straightforward. As I said, it's 100% guard. Everyone gets out in a position. They're out occupying those positions during the times that history says attacks usually occur, especially major attacks. So you can adjust stand to to whenever you want. If in your area, if you're more likely to get attacked an hour before sunrise, well, then you're going to start your stand to at least a half hour to an hour before that time. If sunrise, let's say, is at 0600, 6 a.m., and you typically get attacked at 5 a.m., the hour before sunrise, well, you're going to start your stand to then at 4 o'clock or 4.30, and it will go to 5.30, 6 o'clock, to, to a half hour to 60 minutes after. Now, when stand two is done, that is when uh, people will occupy the positions for that day. You'll have some positions that are just, you know, they're emergency positions. No one has to be in there. Some of them are critical. Someone always has to be in there because they're located on the perimeter. 
you know, those positions that are not critical, once stand two is done, that's when the people leave. Uh, if you have more than one person in that position, I'd recommend keeping one person in that position for a few minutes while anyone else that is in there leaves to go do their personal hygiene or get their chow. So then, you know, after the other person's left, then five, ten minutes later, the one person that's still inside that position, he then leaves or she then leaves and go does their routine. If it's at sunup, they go, they get their breakfast, do their personal hygiene. If it's sundown, the last person out of there, that's when he goes, downgrades his gear, takes his stuff off, and begins his, uh, his sleep shift before he has to go on to guard duty. Stand to is usually a good time also uh, for rotating people on your LPOPs. You're going to do it before the sun comes up or you're going to do it after the sun goes down. So basically at the start of stand two before the sun is up, that is when the new teams go out to your listening post observation posts. If it is nighttime and you're rotating, well when stand two is ending, that is when the people move out to the LPOPs and the, new, and the people coming off shift come back in. It's pretty straightforward. It's not that complicated. There you go. Now for all my engineer brothers and the Patriot and Militia movements, always remember, essay ons.